welcome to webstyle press if you are new here consider subscribing and hit bell icon an elements state pseudo class pseudo element pseudo selector are confusing terms in css but these are very powerful and essential techniques used by front-end developers to achieve wonders for example you see elements that don't exist in html yet visible in html output those before and after elements i am going to give you examples of pseudo classes and elements i am going to clear your concept on colon and double colon usage in css this is simple html page and custom.scss is linked with it that will output a css file and i have linked that custom.css file here for our html let's take an anchor element and unordered list for now link name bread save refresh this is our output let's write CSS for our example for generic CSS I want font size to be 26 px and then anchor Color will be black. Font weight should be bold. Hover and focus states. Or you can say pseudo CSS classes. A colon hover and a colon focus. Color and then text decoration none. And for focus. this color and then we'll have style for our unordered list and now this is the output this is over and this is focus add click and drag this is focus this is hover. So these are states. States for anchor. A colon hover and A colon focus. These are also called CSS pseudo classes. List style type should be none. margin 0 padding 0 then for our li position relative padding left should be 30 px and then and before with the double colon 
this is pseudo element and we also have got and after and our ally has got position relative we will use position absolute here and then content for content I will use 27 a4 font family will be font awesome but am I using font awesome here I don't think so so this is HTML symbol there are many HTML symbols that you can use in CSS this code comes from somewhere you can search for HTML symbol then you will find these and uh, this sign let's search this yeah, this is this symbol and we have used this code so let's align it for its color let's use orange left zero top 1px save and here we go so this is the kind of an arrow that doesn't exist in HTML but it exists in CSS we have created it in CSS by using this pseudo element and double column before and then we can also use and single column first child let's change it, its color to red this is for the ally ally is first child color red and as you can see this is red now let me show you the CSS so this is li double colon before and this is your li first child color red pseudo CSS classes pseudo CSS elements a CSS pseudo element is used to style specific part of element for example it can be used to style the first letter or line of an element insert content before or after the content of an element you can also insert content as before or after the content of an element as we have done here by using content property we have inserted these symbols for ally pseudo element uses double colon as you can see here before and after pseudo element can work with single colon if you need backwards compatibility for uh, for example for Internet Explorer 8 but it's better to stick to standards and use double colon for pseudo elements and pseudo class is kind of a state state of an element and it uses single colon hover state focus state are special pseudo classes that will use single colon make sure you do not mix these two pseudo classes and pseudo elements these are kind of states 
but these are pseudo elements use double colon for pseudo elements and for pseudo classes use single colon that is it for this video give this video a like subscribe to this channel and press bell icon this will help the channel and motivate me to create more videos stay tuned and i will see you in the next video